I don't know, this whole pregnancy has been beautiful and wonderful and easy, 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 easy on my body. And lately it's been getting a little bit more difficult. Hey everybody, it's Elle back for another bump date for all you guys. So as you saw in my other video, I will now be doing bump dates every two weeks instead of every single week just because it's easier for us. And if you need more on the explanation as of why, go ahead and click on that video and you'll figure it all out. <laughs> um, well, <laughs> I, uh, I feel like I've been taking my pregnancy for granted because I had such an easy first half of my pregnancy. I had such an easy, like, I don't know, this whole pregnancy has been beautiful and wonderful and easy, 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 easy on my body. <clears throat> and lately it's been getting a little bit more difficult. So this week I started having some pelvis pain. Um, I had a little bit before, it was like more like discomfort and it was like my lower back is a little sore and that kind of stuff. And I've been seeing a chiropractor for that um, every like couple weeks I see him. But this week I just started feeling a lot of like tailbone pain. And I know baby is head down, and I think they've really like scooched down into my lower pelvis. And unfortunately, that's causing a lot of pelvis pain for me. Um, it's kind of like, I hate to say it, it feels like my pelvis is breaking. <laughs> like, so, um, it's hard to walk, it's hard to sit, it's just really uncomfortable all the time. Um, I haven't taken anything for it. I did discover this amazing stuff though at my hypnobirth class, which I know I mentioned before we're taking hypnobirth classes. Um, this amazing stuff the teacher brought out one day called China Gel, and it's this amazing stuff. It's a little bit like icy hot, but it's like way less intense. It's just kind of like a menthol-y stuff, and it's safe during pregnancy and during labor. She was showing us how to use it during labor to like help with pelvis pain and I'm like hey I'm gonna try that now so everyone in the class kind of tried it and oh my gosh it took away my tailbone pain like that it was amazing if you guys are having pelvis pain oh my gosh go get yourself some china gel I found it on Amazon I don't I don't know where it sold like in stores but I definitely found it online I got the two-day shipping shipped it right over to me good to go um but anyways my tailbone has been really uncomfortable my pelvis has been really uncomfortable and kind of struggling with that to the point where uh, now we have officially given up on rock climbing. So if you guys don't know, we both do rock climbing and I got permission through my whole pregnancy to continue rock climbing as long as like I'm not doing this type called bouldering where you don't wear a harness. That yeah, that wouldn't be good. Um, so, and like just going easy on myself and I use a special pregnancy harness that doesn't go across your belly, it goes across like your legs and your arms. So we were totally prepared to stay active during this pregnancy and literally after this pelvis pain started, I'm just like, I can't even imagine getting into a harness right now. <laughs> like that sounds so uncomfortable. So we'd officially uh, decided for right now in our lives, we're just gonna cancel our membership at the Rock Climbing Gym and instead <clears throat> we live next to a great YMCA and they have this awesome program called Aqua Zumba. Yes, it's a real thing and yes, it's amazing. <laughs> um, it's literally a Zumba class, but in the water. So I decided to try that along with a different class called Aqua Fitness. So like these different various um, aerobic classes that are in the water. And um, so I figured that would feel good and it would help like support my achy pelvis and I'm still able to exercise. So I went and tried it out and it was absolutely amazing guys. Oh my gosh. It was like the second I got into the water, I haven't been in a pool since early pregnancy because it's winter. And the second I got in the water, it just felt like all this pressure was off my pelvis. It felt amazing. So I've been starting to do that. <laughs> And that has just been such a blessing, guys. If you're uncomfortable in your pregnancy, please do yourself a favor and go and sign yourself up for aqua classes of any kind. Like, aqua zumba has been super fun, and aqua fitness has also been super fun. And I was, like, saying, I was like, oh, it's just going to be me and a bunch of old ladies. But actually, there's, like, younger people there, too. And apparently, I'm the only pregnant person there, but they do get pregnant ladies there um, frequently because it's like a thing. And um, there's people there that are like younger and they have like, you know, a back issue or they're recovering from surgery so they can't like do anything, you know, land based that, that would be high impact. So they have to do low impact exercises. And so, you know, it was great and I've made some friends there and it's just been awesome. So, and the teacher is amazing. So it's been a really, really good time. And I just highly encourage you guys if you're like me and have an achy pelvis, just go do that. <laughs> it feels so good. Um, yeah, just being in the water is amazing. So um, 
So that has been great. But other than that, just like I said, the pelvis pain has been really uncomfortable. So trying to figure out ways to stay comfortable and uh, I'm still working. And all I do at work is just make sure I find like comfortable positions and I'm using good posture and everything and like, you know, with, with whatever I'm doing at work. So, so that's been good. And I've officially decreased down to four nights a week. I was doing five nights a week and I was just getting really tired and I just didn't have a lot of energy. So I went down to four nights a week and I've been feeling so much better. <laughs> so, so that's been great. I'm still seeing the chiropractor. He's given me some other stretches to try. Um, nothing really works as well as the Aqua Fitness does, but it's, yeah, I'm definitely working towards having a happier pelvis. So <laughs> little bits at a time. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm still in the hypnobirth classes and those are going great. I really love it. My husband's super into it, which is amazing because some of the husbands there like are just so glazed over and he's like asking questions and like getting super into the meditations and everything. So that is so awesome. And he's such a gift and everyone's like, oh, are you going to hire a doula? And I'm like, I actually really just think my husband's going to be my doula <laughs> because I just, you know, I, if I could afford one, I probably would. I mean, I'm a doula myself. I know how expensive doulas are. But yeah, I'm like, if I could afford one, maybe. But I just really feel confident that my husband's going to be awesome. And I'm hoping hypnobirth works for us and we're able to have just an easy, smooth delivery. <laughs> so that's it, guys. That's all that's going on right now. And uh, let me know how you guys are doing. How are you doing? Are you in your... Are you around this time in your pregnancy? Are you guys having a boy or a girl? Do you know? And are you guys trying to conceive? Like what's going on with you guys? I'd love to hear all of your stories and how things are going for you guys. Just go ahead and leave a comment down below. And yeah, that's it for now guys. If you like, subscribe. Bye.